Lash, and I'm outside the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos. Really pleased to be joined by Lolly Weymouth. Thank you so much for coming Hi, along. Evie. Thank you for inviting me. Senior Associate Editor for the Washington Post. Now tell me, we're on the eve of President uh, Trump's inauguration. Absolutely. I've heard various comments from, we've got to wait and see, from Michael Douglas, uh, cautiously pessimistic from others. What are your thoughts? I would say cautiously optimistic. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, I think we have to wait and see. I would go along with Michael Douglas, but I think that if he succeeds in getting the economy to grow, that'll be a very good thing for the United States. There are other things that are more questionable, perhaps, in foreign affairs, which is my realm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, I would say. In particular, what concerns you about foreign affairs? Well, the Chinese are here, of course, mm -hmm. in droves, and they seem very concerned about what President Trump is going to do versus China. As you know, he's talked a lot about China mm -hmm. and about putting trade barriers and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And they've made it very clear that um, they've spelled it out here, that they will cut off U.S. agricultural imports to China and, and et cetera, et cetera. Much more clear than I would have expected. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I know you're also here to talk about the liberation of Mosul. I'm very interested in the conversation that you had with Barzani and whether you, what thoughts and what, what came out of that interview that you think might gives you any hope? Well, yes, I did an inter interesting interview uh, with President Barzani of uh, the Kurdish region of Iraq this week, who, as you know, is, is um, in charge of the Peshmerga mm -hmm. forces, which have played such a key part in the liberation of Mosul which U.S. Uh, experts and officials believe will be liberated from ISIL. Mm -hmm. in a, in a, well, it was supposed to be liberated by the end of that last year, right. but I would say in a, he, President Barzani says it's going to be liberated in a couple of months, and that mm -hmm. will all be in the Washington Post this Sunday. Mm -hmm. So um, he was very impressive, I thought. In terms of how your coverage or how the kind of interviews that you've done around this subject, mm -hmm. how center is that conversation, do you think, uh, in the United States and also maybe here in Davos? Well, I think that it's incredibly important because, first of all, we have 5,000 U.S. advisors on the mm -hmm. ground in Iraq. And secondly, I think the battle against ISIL, is, uh, Donald, uh, as President-elect Trump has said, or President-to-be Trump mm -hmm. tomorrow, has said he said he's going to crush ISIL. So I asked President Barzani, what do you think? How are you going to fit into this scenario? Mm -hmm. And he basically welcomed President Trump's statement. And he didn't know how it was going to work either. But he, he I mean, he's all for crushing ISIL. And his troops are trying to crush ISIL in Mosul. And I think US experts believe that it's possible to get ISIL out of Iraq, which would be great, mm -hmm. obviously. Tell me about what you think about President Trump's relationship with Russia and how that might mm -hmm. develop in foreign affairs. Well, I think we really don't know. There are all sorts of rumors about how he has this friendship with Putin, et cetera, et cetera. I think we really don't know, and we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much, Lolly, for stopping by the Hub Thank Culture Thank you, Pavilion. Edie. Thank you for asking me. Here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush.